In the National Assembly, where Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Mithika Linturi's fate as CS is under discussion in the National Assembly. MPs were accorded three hours to debate the impeachment motion before they vote electronically later this afternoon. Now the debate comes before the House breaks for a month recess. Let's now cross over live to the National Assembly and listen in. In the aisle. Take your seat, I'll give you an opportunity. Members, have you logged in? Okay, now let's, that was a trial run. Now, take, remove your cards. L log in. There are three votes, yes, no, and abstention. Yes. Members, you may now proceed to vote. Yes. Hold on. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Yes. Order, honorable members, can you pull your gadgets again? When you log in, you hold for 60 seconds then the equipment will be automatically activated for you to vote. So once you log in, you wait to be told to vote. Okay, log in now. Okay, you can now vote. Yeah. Not yet. Is it malfunctioning? Eh? That is the voting process that is taking place in the National Assembly. But earlier, the majority leader, Kimani Shungo, and minority leader as well, was speaking in the National Assembly. Let's just listen in to what they said earlier. Should have taken the action, the most logical action, and fired Honorable Linturi. But because both Linturi and the President have failed to do what the Constitution requires them to do, this house has got a duty, therefore, under the Constitution, to take act the action that it is currently contemplating taking by sending this cabinet secretary home, Honorable Speaker. I have looked at the issues which have been raised, Honorable Speaker. It sounds like something from Hollywood, Honorable Speaker. You may think you are watching a movie that the whole cabinet secretary can storm the premises of a private company that is Kells Chemicals Limited and direct, in fact, attempt to frog march the management of the company to go and participate in a press conference at the premises of NCPB and take responsibility over something that the cabinet secretary is culpable, directly culpable. Honorable Speaker. And indeed, the State Corporations Act is very clear that ministers, principal secretaries or accounting officers cannot and must never be seen to micromanage parastatals or state corporations. The Honorable Amboka has failed to show us the nexus between CS Mithika Linturi and uh, the, the procurement processes or distribution of fertilizers at NCPB. Indeed, Honorable Speaker, he also failed to inform the House that DCI that has been investigating this matter has already preferred charges against arrested and preferred charges which the DPP has consented to for the prosecution of officers that DCI feels might be culpable on the matter of the procurement and distribution of this fertilizer, Honorable Speaker. Therefore 
Majority Leader Kimani Shungwa and minority, minority Leader Zuel Opio Wandai earlier. But now we go back to the National Assembly and follow through that voting process.